Welcome guys, with the newest PUBG patch 14.2, the game is getting two new gadgets. One is the M79 smoke grenade launcher, and the other one is a mortar launcher only available on Tego. Initially, we all believed that the smoke launcher was Tego exclusive, since that's what PUBG's own promotion video said. But later, they clarified that the M79 is indeed available on all maps, which is a great move and I'm happy to see it. The rarity of these new gadgets seems very high, as I looted a whole 40 minutes on Tego and never found the mortar, but found the M79 smoke launcher just once. But luckily, they put these new gadgets in the Sandbox custom game mode, and this is my first impression <gasps> testing them. Hey, hey, look at that, smoke gun. I found it. All right, let's try it out. Okay, that smoke, it pops very quickly. Look at that, that pops, it, that popped super quick. However, um, does, does take a moment before it like spreads. Damn, that's far. Wow, that's really far. Smoke. Zeroing. This is a... Uh, oh, zero meters. Okay. And 200 meters without changing anything. 250. All right. So what's really interesting about this smoke and what I like about it, I think maybe you just maybe you just hip fired this thing actually. Like you got a guy that's dropped at that rock over there, you just like like this. Yeah, I think so. If if it is to protect somebody, I think I would just have it on fifty and then just hip fire. Um just like I do with the Panzerfaust. Like this is a, a cool idea to have something like this. Yeah, guy in that window? Just smoke that crap. Maybe do it in front instead. And then you push with your team. And then we get over here, Nate, the shit, uh, Nate, this building. And you can even do like long range shots like this, no problem. Like in that window, right? You see, when you know how to do this, you can just do it like this. I was, I was talking about the window behind the building. If I want this window, I would do it like this. See? Good luck, uh, good luck sniping from there. That's awesome, actually. A little bit difficult, but, um... Yeah, cool item. So now we're gonna find out how we do this mortar thing. Cannot deploy this location. Um... Oh, so that's why. It's because I wasn't looking at the ground. Cannot deploy mortar at this location. Cannot deploy at this. Okay, so it needs to be perfectly level. Wait a minute. Can I even do it here? Okay. Operate. Adjust range. What? Um, seriously? That's it? I want to like pretend like we're in a situation here where this is something we use, right? So, uh, okay. So the squad and I were up here and, uh, well, now I don't have a mortar. I get, I get it. Okay. So the squad and I were up here and, uh, I was like, oh, there's people down in this compound and, and you want to try to hide here you don't want to peek because they got snipers so you just deployed here behind the rock that's awesome 
Um, cannot deploy here. Cannot deploy. Okay. <laughs> so while the squad is waiting for this, hopefully no one dies. <laughs> what the heck, man? How is this so difficult? Okay, so... Okay, um... New situation. We're here with the squad, and, uh... Wait, where, where are we with the squad? Um, we are on a more flat area. Okay, so we're here. Right, we're here. Yeah, 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 I'm here. And, uh, there's this really sick situation where you're here with your sniper and... Like, you, you don't, no, you don't have sniper. And there are people in this compound over there, like, far away. And you're like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm gonna get them, guys. Okay, we can play through here. I'm like, one sec, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll get them. And then you look at your map. And you're like, okay, one sec. One, two, three hundred. So that will be a three hundred and twenty for it to go in there. And then you, adjust, you operate the mortar. You put it that to 320. That should be okay. And then you aim. And you're like, fire! And we're gonna cheat. We're gonna fly over there and see where this thing lands. So if someone was stuck in the fence, they would have been dead now. Like, how you... <laughs> this doesn't actually feel that useful. This is extremely difficult. So you do like this. Oh, you can do like... Okay, so we'd put a line on the map like this. And you would mark that. If I want this exact spot, let's say... Between these two... I think these are cars, right? Right there. So you would, you would adjust your aim to match the line. Like, like this. And then, in this case, we want a little bit more range. 328, maybe. And then boom. Right between the cars. Right here. The guy's standing right there. Right there. I got this. I got this. I'm just going to adjust a little bit to, uh, to the right. Do they even land in the same spot? Hey, I, I hit it. Hey, look at that. I hit the cars now. I'm, I'm guessing that if you stand around here, you would uh, be hit. You would hit him. Like this is really difficult, right? Oh, that's what it looks like. Really. Looks like a stick. Okay, so you get that. And uh, your squad is giving you some intel that someone is over here. Right? This compound. Out here. In the open. Because if people are in a building, this doesn't really do much. So, and people are always in buildings. But let's just pretend that these are really dumb and they're outside. So they're, they're right, right around here. Squad mate marks it. Attack. Okay. I'm like, hey, no worries, I got this. What? Why can't I not deploy here? Can't deploy in concrete? Okay, all right, so that might, okay, so that might, uh, fair enough, that might be because it's got those, yeah, it's got those spikes that goes in, into the ground to keep it stable. Okay, that makes sense. I've had other concrete areas where I felt like, okay, so I, I guess that makes sense, fair enough. So we place it here. Still squad mates saying that it's over here. Enemies. So I'm like, how far is that? First, I mark it like this. I draw a line. And then I, I measure it. So it's about... Uh, one... So about 200 meters. And that's... 
in the in heat of battle, that's all I can do. Like 200 meters. Okay, that's probably probably correct. 200 meters adjusted to 204 in this example. Make sure that this arrow here is pointing in the line, the same direction as the line, and it seems like that's okay. And we fire. Now it's lucky to find two. That's how I do it. That's not bad. I think that that actually that actually hit where I wanted it to, kind of like it hit more like here, yeah. Very uselessness. <laughs> okay, so to the experienced PUBG player, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be for trolling. This item here, this is gonna be purely for trolling, purely for fooling around. For the casual player, this might provide an extra piece of excitement. 